Hi, hello everyone, and welcome to the fragrance loving family and channel. My name is Emilia, and today we're all about another fragrance haul where I'm going to show you the most exciting fragrances that they have been added to my collection. And uh, obviously, if you want to discover with me the new fragrances and get to know them a bit better, kind of like um, unboxing as well, uh, the excitement of discovering some new fragrances, then uh, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Amelia, but simply you can call me Amy. And um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave this channel. So without further ado, let us discover some of the new scents here. And um, as you guys know, I love fragrances. And I'm going to start basically with uh, the sample that I received with my order. And it's a new fragrance, new release um, for some months ago here, at least in Cyprus. Um, it's a Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever. This, um, it's a flanker of the I Want Chu, which is more of a peachy um, scent, which I really, really enjoy. And I absolutely adore the bottle in which it comes. But this um, fragrance, which is again an Eau de Parfum, comes with some vanilla, some sweet and cherry, almondy, rosy, ambery, um, earthy um, accords. And the fragrance itself, um, it's more on the um, floral, fruity, gourmand. Um, and it was launched a few months ago. Um, basically here in Cyprus, it recently arrived. And um, I wanted to obviously test it out before going ahead and buying a full bottle, given the fact that I have already a huge collection. If you haven't yet watched my fragrance collection video, which is somewhat outdated because obviously since then new fragrances have been added but i'm going to let um obviously leave you the link below and maybe i will give you up somewhere in the video a card so you can click on it and watch it to see what fragrances i already had and obviously i will do an updated video on that now this fragrance itself it's again one of those scents that um, have been recently raved up in uh, YouTube, in the fragrance community, so I'm really curious. Um, the fragrance itself was created with a co-production of Louise Turner and Sonia Constant. I have uh, quite a few fragrances from these beautiful ladies. They have amazing fragrances overall. And this has in the opening bitter almond and rose, so not that citrusy to which we are usually used to. In the middle notes, we have some yummy cherry, vetiver, and jasmine. And in the base notes, we have vanilla, akmas, some amber, and tonka bean. Um, judging from the color of the bottle as well, the packaging, because the bottle has this degradé like, it goes from white, gray until the black. I would have the impression that the scent is more on the evening, maybe date night scents. Plus, it has this cherry along with the vanilla, tonka bean, which kind of like usually in fragrances tends to be more on the sexy vibe, kind of like date night fragrances. So I will test it out and give you back some feedbacks when I'm going to do my emptied fragrance related videos. Obviously in those kind of videos, I will be talking also about the testers that I have been using and so on. So let me know your thoughts after that. Um, the next scent, is going to be a fragrance that I purchased blindly. Um, as I know, it has been discontinued because I haven't found it anywhere else uh, besides in uh, the Facebook group of the store from where I'm usually purchasing my fragrances. Um, it's an outlet store, basically. And this is YSL or Yves Saint Laurent, if uh, you're not familiar, Paris, but the Eau de Toilette version. Um, this normally it's 58 euros, but again, they had some extra promotion. So I took it only with 30 euros. So amazing price. And, um, it's 75 ml. So it's a huge bottle, uh, 2.5 fluid ounce. I love the color of the bottle. It's this beautiful peachy pink, as you can see. 
Now, this used to be also uh, formulated as an eau de parfum, which I heard it was super strong. Um, it was more on the floral powdery um, aspect, rose. Um, let me show you also this bottle. So they came in the same presentation. Um, the other parfum formulation has the same color, same presentation. But um, you have to be careful when you choose whether you buy the other toilet or other parfum. I'm going to mention quickly the other parfum um, notes as well, accords. The other parfum version um, was created in and launched in 1983. It was the creation of Sofia Grosjman, and that had in the top notes rose, mimosa, hyacinth, geranium, green notes, uh, nasturtium orange blossom, uh, hawthorn, cassia, bergamot, a lot of, lot of notes. Um, this was just the opening and in the middle notes, then again, a bunch of notes. Um, it had rose, lily, uh, lime blossom, ylang ylang, uh, violet, lily of the valley, jasmine, and oris root. And in the base notes, again, another shot of iris, <laughs> musk, heliotrope, sandalwood, oak moss, amber, and cedar. Compared to this, the other parfum, um, it's super loaded with ingredients. However, the other toilet version has mimosa, orange blossom, bergamot, rose, and green notes. In the heart, we have um, lily, uh, violet, jasmine, ylang, ylang, lily of the valley. And in the base notes, we have sandalwood, orris, oak moss, amber, and musk. Um, this is kind of like powdery scent, as I smell it some lily, you can distinguish a bit of amber and some of the green. Now, this basically was created to reflect the contemporary Parisian attitude. Um, you know, it's a gorgeous fragrance. It contains a decadent bouquet and a big dash of fun. It's fruity as well, floral. Um, you know, I see it more suitable for springtime when it's not too hot and not too cold. It's somewhere in between. Obviously, I'm going to test it also now when it's a colder weather. Um, I see it as a romantic exquisite, um, refined, very feminine scent. Um, it's glamorous, same like Paris, you know, same as it takes. France, it's known for class, for prestige, for all the amazing fragrance houses there. They're known for smelling good. So this is what this fragrance is about. It's it's Paris in a bottle, if I can say that. And it has a beautiful rose accord. And, uh, you know, the violet, which gives this um, powderiness as well. Um, it's light powder. It's not that strong powder like Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, which I absolutely love. Don't get me wrong. I love powdery scents. Uh, but here it's more of a floral powder. Um, and the the lighter powdery um, accent of the rose, if I can say that. And, um, you know, it has a beautiful vetiver as well. And, um, you know, the bottle itself, it's super. Like, if you can see here, it's stunning. I, I love it. Now, the next fragrance I'm going to mention, you might already be familiar with it because uh, I showed it to you already on my channel. Going to be actually a backup bottle of one of my favorite scents, and this is nonetheless but La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier, and this is the 100 milliliter or 3.4 fluid ounce, which I took. I have with me here the 50 milliliter version, and I'm not going to open the big one. It's the same, just the size is different, so that's why I will keep it for now. But um, as you can see, it has this gorgeous bust with beautiful, beautiful roses. And I 
absolutely love the details that they gave into it, this feminine silhouette and bust, um, superb. As you can see, I already have a dent in it. And um, in normal retail stores, the 50 milliliter costs 95 euros. Me, I purchased the 100 milliliter at 70 euros. So obviously I took a great deal. Um, plus, I was using the or the first bottle kind of like with, you know, my heart in my mouth purely because I didn't know when I'm going to be able to find great deals. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to use it now. I'll keep it for special occasions. Now I don't have to be worried about that because I have a full bottle as a backup once I'm running out. Um, the sprayer has this stopper as well, which is kind of like, you know, not something that I like, but these details are absolutely mind blowing. Um, for me, this fragrance represents coziness, warmness, woodiness, amberiness, sexiness, everything. Like as the bottle, gorgeous scent, warm, feminine, elegant, sophisticated, perfect for date nights, um, perfect for cuddling. You know, it's it's an amazing, super elegant, super feminine scent. Um, talking about the Accords, we have here vanilla, fruity, um, some aquatic powdery as well, some woody, um, earthy, ambery, and, um, you know, it's a scent that projects well, that stays on your skin. You don't have to reapply it for hours and hours. You don't have to worry about it. Um, longevity is amazing, basically. Um, with regards to the fragrance, um, this was launched in 2019. And it was created by Sonia Constant, again, <laughs> and Quintin Bish. And this is more of an amber vanilla fragrance. And we have juicy pear and bergamot in the opening. In the middle notes, we have floral notes and leather. And in the base, um, basically what remains on your skin or the dry down, we have vanilla, we have amber, we have musk and vetiver. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I purchased this fragrance particularly as a part of a set. It came in a letter box, uh, which is really interesting. Um, if you want to watch that video, then don't forget to check on my channel because I have it mentioned. And I loved it because it had also a body lotion. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because it's something funny. So basically, when I purchased this and I initially tested it, I was like, Guys, what is this? This is why you are raving all of you on YouTube because this is one of those hyped up, mentioned on hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels and thousands and thousands of YouTube videos. Everybody raves about it. And I was like, it's not for me. But guess what? I started using the body lotion um, after each shower and I fell in love with the scent. And um, the second time I applied the body lotion, I said like, I want the fragrance. I was craving for it. It's such a beautiful scent. It's so warm and um, so elegant, prestigious scent, you know, as the bottle, you know, it's the perfect representation of what's in it. And obviously I now recommend it with open heartness because it's gorgeous scent. I love it. And um, I think having an extra Becca bottle says, a lot about it. Obviously, there are um, other flankers or other labels out there. There is the darker, juicy um, fragrance, which is Label Le Parfum. It's an eau de parfum intense for women. And um, it's something that I haven't seen here in Cyprus yet. Then there is also the more recent launch of uh, La Belle Fleur Terrible, which comes with this beautiful aquatic turquoise kind of like color bottle and with a material um, design here, which it's again stunning. It's perfect for summer. This fragrance for me, it's perfect for date nights, um, late nights. It's pretty, it's uh, flirty, it's very versatile fragrance. And, um, you know, I think the bottle and the name um, are perfect for this scent. So basically, 
label, which means the beauty. It's perfect because it's beautiful scent. Um, now, what I really enjoyed about the fragrance is the juicy pear that it opens with and this leatheriness, which it's well blended because it gives you this a uh, sweet kind of like juicy pear combined with the leather so it's absolutely uh, amazing um obviously because in the heat over here at least in the mediterranean um it's not something that i would wear during the daytime so if i want to use it in the summertime it's more in the evening hours of the day not early morning in the winter obviously because i want coziness i want warmness I gravitate towards this and I like to use it all day. <laughs> I don't mind. And I want to move now forward to the next fragrance, which I was like, again, in between, because I didn't know, shall I purchase this one that I have ordered or another one? And this is again, one, amazing fragrance house um it's between my favorite ones the fragrance itself was launched not such a long time ago it was launched in 2021 and um this fragrance it's coming from the house of narciso rodriguez and it's musk noir for her um obviously the other one that i was thinking to purchase it's musk noir rose which is another flanker um from the for her series and um basically what drove me towards this was the fact that the dry down in this was talking more to me it was something beautiful initially when i sprayed it so the opening is not something that really dragged my attention however once i tested both of them um, I realized that the Dryden of this, it's one of those ones that you want to die for. It's amazing. It's stunning. The Rose Noir, um, or Musk Noir Rose for her, it's musky, fruity, vanilla, rose, powdery, um, soft, spicy. Whereas the Musk Noir for um, her, the one that I have, it's musky, powdery, fruity, sweet, leathery, vanilla, and almond. And I went for the full bottle, the 100 milliliter, because I tested it and I was confident and it was absolutely stunning on my skin. Uh, performance is, I would say, medium. Let me open up also the bottle, not just <laughs> show it here. And this one, again, I ordered it from a retail store. They had an offer. So basically you buy the bigger size of the bottle, however, you pay the price of the one that is below. So basically I purchased 100 milliliter at the price of 50. I love how simple, how minimalistic the fragrance bottle is, yet it's so stunning as a juice. And um, to me, this is very interesting because we have um, plum, we have musk and heliotrope, and we have sued in the base. Um, it's very bold, it's very feminine. Um, it has a bit of elements of mystery, some intrigue, um, some confident woman, sensual woman, I would wear it, uh, see this. Um, you know, it's mystic, it's powerful, um, and it's for those women that they want to show their inner beauty and their innate sensuality. Um, this was actually inspired by the original for her. Um, and basically it reinterprets and explores the deep mystery and eloquence of the iconic scent. Um, you know, the collection, again, it's inspired by women. Um, there are quite a few flankers out there, test them out. I have also the musk, uh, I have the for her version as well as an EDT, not the EDP. Um, that is again, very nice, very powdery, but this one, it's more on the um, musky, um, clean kind of like vibe. I absolutely enjoy this one. Now, the creator of this masterpiece, it must be a woman and uh, it's Sonia 
constant again. And um, for me, it's perfect for, you know, environment that means maybe a toned down fragrance that you want to use, such as an office, maybe a hospital environment, like a doctor or nurse, where you cannot allow yourself to wear these powerful, mind-blowing, beast mode kind of like fragrances. This is more toned down, but it's really, really, really beautiful scent. It's something that I think each woman should have in her collection if you're looking for a musky, clean kind of like scent. And um, it's an added value. Um, I love this man. Um, you know, it's, you know, it kind of like reminds me also a bit in the opening of Alien. Um, but, you know, it goes into a musky, um, clean scent. Um, it's something that I would recommend as an everyday scent, um, one that you could work also at work, something that would not annoy anyone. It would be inoffensive, um, obviously as a scent. And um, let's see how it's going to end up in my collection and see how we will enjoy it. And obviously if I'm going to repurchase it, because now I have the full bottle and yeah, super, super excited about it and cannot wear to wear it because it's absolutely amazing. That would be it for today. And if obviously you liked the content of this video, give it a big thumbs up before you leave the channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell as well to subscribe to my channel so you can keep on watching my new video um, that I'm going to upload. Obviously, let me know also what other fragrances you would like to see on the channel or what are some of your top fragrances from your collection. And uh, till next time, bye.